All right, uh, so some of the few things I've learned while being in Paris is uh, number one, you cannot park your car uh, for three days in the same spot because it's going to be towed by the police or uh, the towing companies. Okay, but every three days, you need, you need to push your car because in the law, in the French, you cannot stop seven days oh, in the same place. Day. Okay, yeah, you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, no, 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 no. It's not important. You can, you can uh, maybe one minute. So remember, in um, France, you cannot park your car at the same spot for three days. It's going to get towed. Another thing I think uh, I've learned also in France is like uh, the police. They love the sirens, man. They like the noise. <laughs> the sirens speeding bro i don't know if it's because of the olympics there's so many people they're trying to provide security but uh, it was too loud uh it was too loud but that's one thing i've also learned here um what else oh france 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 um i think it's the best i don't know compared to the uh, countries i've traveled to in the world uh Paris have the best uh, subway systems. I don't know if it's the best. It is the best to me, uh, considering the countries I've been to. But their underground tram and train system is top notch. It's out of this world because one, you enter a train uh, or a uh, tram in a few seconds, you're in another city. In a few minutes, bro. Five minutes you're in another city five minutes another city and uh, there's no traffic the uh, trams they're never late if it's one minute another comes after every five minutes five minutes six seven minutes they're punctual there are many um one uh train one tram contains around 10 cabins one uh cabin carries about a hundred people so approximately if they are compact and full um a thousand people are transported every five minutes and for example like there are uh, study the France, the stadium or uh, where the Olympics were. Uh, the stadium capacity was 80,000 and it was packed every single day from Sunday to Sunday. Uh, and you can imagine most people using the tram, so you can imagine the trams being transporting one cabin 100 people, so one tram, a whole 10 cabins, 1,000 people. So every tram, 1,000 people being transported every five minutes. You can imagine how many people being transported. Anyways, um, they have uh, one of the best uh, underground, complicated, it's not just an, un it is a, an underground complicated tram train systems. So that's also the third thing I've learned about uh, Paris, France. Um, went to the Eiffel Tower, they have so many museums and monuments, and uh, I think they cherish the, the museums. Went downtown, or rather the other side, I don't know why I keep on saying downtown, the other side of uh, Paris. That's where the old school Paris is, the antique, the 1800s, 1700s Paris. Then also the other side, we call it the new town or the new school Paris, uh, the new buildings were. And also it was very, very amazing. Uh, it is not congested. It is widely spaced. Uh, the streets are not very wide, they're narrow and uh, also very few traffic traffic jam yeah, I experienced and also what else have I learned in Paris mm. they have a lot of scooters they do have a lot of scooters and uh, the Paris police also or uh, rather the French policemen use motorbikes a lot that one have also realized they use uh, motorbikes a lot apart from cars vans and also uh hatchbacks but they use a lot of motorbikes anyways um is there anything left let me see let me see what have i learned in paris uh the people are not good french people are very good they are they're welcoming 
they were coming they're not like uh other people i don't want to mention them because i'm traveling around the world so i don't want to meet i don't want to say these people and then we end up meeting with them but french people are very welcoming and uh yeah uh it is a place to visit oh also one thing i learned is that they're very good artists uh went to this city where uh the artists were the painters the people who draw the caricature those people draw your faces in cartoon form in real form they draw you while you're there they look at you and draw you immediately you pay them there and that was also one thing i learned amazing no wonder the best uh best of the best artists come from france paris and also the buildings every single building not everyone but not the modern ones i'm talking about the old school buildings perfect they are carefully curated designed and laid down Merci beaucoup. Oh, the good thing is they are really paying attention to details. It's the most thing. And uh, also, last thing I did learn in Paris is like is that uh, people love, well, I think it's the youth, the Gen Z's wapari on apenda uh, calligraphy, and also they love um, graffitis on the wall. There's a lot of graffitis going on in Paris, and uh, that's the side I think they don't get to show you on the internet. But one of my videos, I specifically uh, was talking about uh, the graffitis on the walls, and uh, yeah, it's too much. There's a city I we went to and it was everywhere on buildings, apartments, the bridges, everywhere. But uh, it is a very beautiful city, Paris, it is a place to visit. And also went uptown, rather the expensive Paris. So Gucci, Louis, Boss, Saint Laurent. All right, so this street right here, right there we have uh, Louis Vuitton, then we have Boss. Then we have Monclava right here. Then this one is uh, Saint Laurent. All the way up. Saint Laurent, I heard that he's saying Yeah, I think that guy just said it right. He's French, he said Saint Laurent. <laughs> Saint Laurent. I saw a uh, Rolex. Ooh, Rolex 23,000. And uh, in case you want to buy a Rolex, OMG, check this out. Expensive watches. Jesus Christ. No, that's a genuine Rolex. Now that's a legit Rolex. Okay, look at that. Oof. That is how a genuine Rolex looks like. Damn, bro. Others are gold plated. Like that one is diamond. It has diamond around it. The earrings are 18,600 euros. This necklace here goes for, I don't want to know. That ring right there is 37,500 euros. Those earrings cost 13,000. 500 euros. That necklace is 11,500. Come on, bro. 9,600. <laughs> bro. 39,500. What the shit? Bro, it, this is crazy. Look at that. 15,000, 33,000. 30,000. Man, look at mine. I'm wearing a watch costing me two euros. No, that was 230,000 Rolex. The bag was uh, from Louis Vuitton and it was costing, I think, 23,000. 23,000 euros for a bag, bro. Well, anyways, all those uh, videos, you can check them out in uh, 
one of our videos all right so i guess i'll see you guys next time uh please uh come on kawaii please don't forget to subscribe to the channel chico champs films from kenya africa to the world um let's go let's get it peace